Hi all, I have yet another very interesting game of Leela Chess to show you. Leela 10922, a very high ID, against the Stockfish development version. So uh, this is cutting edge stuff. So Edward Panic provides this five minute plus uh, five second increment time control. D4 is played. Uh, I'll give out other technical details in the pinned comments about hardware, etc. Now we have the Dutch defense in this game, f5, g3, knight f6, bishop g2. The stone wall variation is where black constructs a kind of stone wall to this bishop. So knight f3, d5, c4, c6, white castles, bishop e7, queen c2, knight e4, knight c3, black castles, bishop f4. And this is tempting black to use this forcing move g5, which is a committal move. And it's actually the move that's that Stockfish chooses. If we look at this, why isn't this bishop left? That is a good question. Let's see if it is left without g5 being played, then maybe the case for rook ad1 here and using the e5 square is made. For example, bishop f6, knight e5 uh, is pleasant enough because knight takes here. If g5 now then knight takes knight takes and then bishop e5 for example so this is very positionally dangerous for this c8 bishop especially kind of locked in in its own light square pawn structure so white would have a small edge there so interesting so g5 was played here kicking the bishop back and now knight d6 perhaps expecting white to make a concession either close or cd well closing is usually a bad idea because, for example, knight f7, then black can look forward to preparing e5 later. Uh, so that's usually a bad idea in principle. We have Leela playing b3, but isn't this just losing a pawn? Uh, potentially. d takes c4 is played. And now the idea is re revealed, just rook ad1. So Leela has sneakily set the undertone for later playing e4 without such a lock down on the e4 square and we've seen this in another game just earlier today on this channel where um, g4 was used to kind of loosen black's control of e4 so very very strategic basically taking account of the most important pawn break in the position and you might ask well why is e4 so important well either it opens up lines or and or it closes up this bishop if there's a pawn on e5 this bishop's kind of locked in so this bishop is the problem piece quite often in the Dutch Stonewall. So the e4 break in principle will bring a number of benefits to the white position. If white tries b takes c4, this activates black too much after knight takes c4. Say so here, knight takes, this is just horrible, this position. It should be at least even uh, there. So better to do this, to keep the knight out of white's position. Knight a6, and now, now that the rook's moved here, this is slightly different. The bishop's got a, a nice parking spot back here on c1 without hemming in the rook. This is palatable, so there's still e4 on the cards, which will bring that huge range of strategic benefits. Knight b4, queen b3, knight a5 toying with white here. Now knight d5, asking white, do you want to take on d5? Leader refuses with queen c2 and toying again. Is there going to be a repetition? No. Queen a1. If there was, of course, I wouldn't show you this game. But um, if knight takes d5, c takes this position, black will be absolutely fine. For example, black could use up this diagonal. If, uh, the bishop activates on this diagonal. That bad bishop is not so bad. Black would be doing slightly uh, better there. So we have queen a1. And this kind of reminds me there's extreme patience to get in this e4. It's like Leela's in the back of her mind. <laughs> her neural network minds, the neurons are getting excited about the prospect of e4 and the implications of that, either shutting down the bishop alpha zero style, uh, Leela's big brother alpha zero, <laughs> uh, or getting some king safety implications, opening up diagonals and stuff. And of course, this bishop, you know, breaking down this diagonal might be a long term thing as well. So we see knight b6, a retreat, and e4 is played now. Is this worth a pawn? Leela is the master of pawn breaks. It's pawn breaks 
which set the liberating tone of the pieces. Look at that C8 bishop. Leela is starting to adopt some of the characteristics of Alpha Zero, and this is against a stronger version of Stockfish than the Google team competed against theoretically. This is Stockfish in development. Sometimes maybe the dev versions are just experimental, but this might be stronger than the latest Stockfish for all we know. So knight a c4 is played. a4 trying to wobble these knights with a5, trying to stop them supporting each other. Black's not having that. a5. Queen a2. Some pressure on c4, which is potentially strategically useful for blocking in this bishop because any knight e5 hits the, uh, the knight, encourages d takes, which locks in the bishop. And in fact, uh, Stockfish plays it right into this, runs right into this idea. G4, which is committal on the dark squares, weakening further dark squares, knight e5. And look at this, knight takes, d takes, strategic luxury position. Yes, <laughs> this block, block, blocked in bishop at the moment. Queen c7, and also of course this diagonal is now used, bishop h6, cross whites, a cross black's king, is dangerous for the black king. Rookie eight. Giving up the exchange doesn't help here. Bishop takes, for example, and queen c2 is pleasant enough for white. So rookie eight is played. And the bishop actually just drops back here to e3. I'm b6. I believe if taking here, then maybe bishop d4 actually is good, among other things. Uh, we, we see... Uh, actually, or even just taking on b6 and then coming back, there's big compensation here in these variations. But uh, we have bishop b4 here, queen b3, and now bishop takes c3 is played, which does fatally weaken potentially the dark squares. This bishop is now without a counterpart, this bishop's blocked in. Do we start seeing characteristics of alpha zero in this game here? And it, and Lena's giving up this a pawn. Now she's played for a lot of abstract things, but giving up concrete pawns. Is it worth giving up concrete pawns for abstract things? Only if you can prove it, really. Can it be proven? Can anything be proven here? Or are these pawns going to win later? Queen c1 is played. And actually, this position is already a bit creaky for black. The next move of Stockfish doesn't indicate extreme happiness. F4 is played. Does not indicate happy position. If knight b6, then for example, e takes opens up this bishop as well. Bishop takes, the queen could come in. Look at those dark squares, rook d6. This is just uh, devastation time for the black king. It's absolutely devastating. King safety is being shot to pieces here. So uh, let's have a look. Instead of knight b6, you might think, well, hang on, isn't there a, another move? Queen f7, for example. That runs into f3, literally runs into f3. This rook is going to try and exploit the queen on f7. For example, here, this is very, very nice. Look at the light square bishop here. This kind of position is just awful. Look at the king's safety. It's just terrible. That's just a desperate move. But if we try and be sensible, then taking, for example, check, check, and the king is just getting it. So uh, very, very dangerous. F4, this is a sign of desperation already. G takes F4, which of course has implications even for the G file here, for winning G4 later. G4 is vulnerable. B5, F5, just opening up things now. Infiltration on the dark squares. B4, bishop H6, the queen can come into G5 as well now. Knight c3, queen g5 check, queen f6 check, rook d6 installing on dark squares. Look at this locked in bishop. Queen f7 is played. Now on bishop a6 as an example, then check this rook e1. So here, this position is horrible. Queen h5 makes way for bishop g5 to f6. For example here, or alternatively, in this position, f6 even is strong with f7. This is absolutely devastation for black. 
absolute devastation if it has to do that then <laughs> that's not very good so uh we have queen f7 being played uh queen h4 so that's has ideas like queen takes g4 check here opening up the g file and maybe then later even king h1 rook g1 is handy knight b5 here with the rook attacked actually it does take time to play rook d8 we have bishop d7 connecting rooks f takes very awkward for black queen takes e6 is played on bishop takes e6 this example f4 look at that rook facing the queen so things like f5 even if that's ignored this position is not very nice with this pawn these pawns here this is just devastating for example like that <laughs> or uh, if c takes check and then rook d2 this is absolutely crashing through on dark squares there's no real defense here for black if this is the best move that's not very good okay so uh that's absolutely crushing so queen takes e6 check and stockfish is just basically losing a piece in this line of the queen g6 white just takes on d7 uh, after taking the queens off taking on e5 uh, bishop f6 rook e6 e5 knight c3 in the game was adjudicated as a win for white here there's such a massive advantage now agreed by both sides as an example continuation f3 seems a logical move knight f8 check for example check f takes g4 just winning material opening up this bishop and uh, also getting behind that pawn this continuation just shaking off black's pawns is possible even if the king has to come to the center it's so what white controls the position with extra material that these pawns are just can be wiped off the board basically as an example so let's go back to the final position to me there seems to be echoes of alpha zero in this game with the c8 bishop issue it's like also Lena's kind of preparing a punch slowly which once it's made it really creates this lock-in of black's position black's c8 bishop and this punch is made in a dynamic manner here the pawn sacrifice for it this is really super advanced pawn break chess Lila's just getting stronger and stronger on that strong already strong aspect of the game it seems and the big strategic benefits are already demonstrated here weakened dark squares blocked in bishop king safety implications white's pieces uh, just getting really activated so a wonderful game example i think hope you enjoy it too comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much